I'll never forget the first time that I was asked to care for an actively dying infant in the newborn intensive care unit, or NICU. I can't tell you his name, but let's call him Max. I had been working as a nurse for about a year and a half, and I had never received any sort of education in end-of-life care. Still, in the space of one short morning, I became responsible for supporting Max and his family through the worst days of their lives. I met Max on his third day of life, and I spent a total of five days with him, including his tenth and final day of life. How you care for a family as they lose their child matters. Most babies who die in the NICU will never leave the hospital, making the NICU the only home they'll ever know. If you get it right, you can create space for families to make memories, to talk about what their baby's life means, and to simply enjoy their time with their newborn, no matter how short it may be. If you get it wrong, you can tar the only memories that parents will ever have with their child. Research shows us that very few nurses who work in the NICU receive any sort of education in end-of-life care. Regardless of the education that nurses do or don't receive, they still show up to work and care for dying infants and their families. We know that they've learned to do this complex work somewhere and somehow, but no research has looked at the when, where, and how of this learning. Since there's currently no systematic way of teaching this essential skill, there's concern that nurses are currently learning on a hit or miss basis. If nurses are learning inconsistently, families cared for by early career nurses might receive inadequate care. There is no do-over for these families. Their baby has died and their nurse was unprepared to care for them as they experienced this terrible loss. In order to understand how nurses currently learn to provide end-of-life care, I will conduct a study using a sample of Canadian NICU nurses. Information will be collected from focus groups and individual interviews. My study has two aims. Firstly, to understand how nurses currently learn to provide end-of-life care in the NICU. And secondly, to understand the learning experiences that nurses want in order to provide the highest quality end-of-life care. I will include NICU nurses who have been working for at least one year and who have cared for at least one infant at the end of life. This study will provide important information on how to educate nurses regarding end-of-life care. When I took care of Max, I had no idea what to do. I did my best to be supportive. I made hospital glove balloons for his three-year-old brother. I panic ordered a pizza for his family off of Uber Eats, and I did my best to facilitate memory making for his family. Still, no matter how hard I tried, I know that I would have done a better job had I had some sort of education. My research will lay the foundation for future work developing an educational curriculum for NICU nurses regarding end-of-life care. I hope that my work will allow for fewer nurses to find themselves with a grieving mother crumpling in their arms and having no idea what to say.